Hello friends, today we're going to add another set of stairs to a deck. Stay tuned. All right, so here you see the beginning of the deck before it was cut out. Those railings go across the entire way, and of course Moose was here to help today. So I had to dig out the plants that were sitting in front of it first. Notice that great shovel technique. I needed to cut the railing away first, so I used my square and I just cut some lines parallel to the opening that's already on the other side. And I was going to use my jigsaw, but the blade was crooked, so instead my reciprocating saw did the trick. I wonder what you got you left good you. I carried that cutting through to all the boards, and then it was time to remove them. It was a little bit sticky, but it came off, and you can see the 2x4 was attached to it on one side, but not attached on the other, so I'm not sure what the history of this railing was, but either way, it worked, and we're going to be able to use some of these parts in other areas too. For example, I need to make a 4x4, I'm going to make that out of two 2x4s for some stability, and then I have to use that big top piece as sort of a sturdy backboard. So in this shaky shot right here, I'm cutting the deck boards flush with the bottom of the deck, and there I am installing what used to be the top board of the railing. This is going to be a surface for um, a flush trim piece, and it's what the stairs are going to be mounted to. There's that flush piece that I was talking, talking about. Here are the stairs, they're very simple, made them from some spare pieces of 2x12 and then two 2x6 boards. And on the bottom what I'm doing is putting on one of those 2x4s that used to be on the railing. Um, that's going to be buried in the ground a little bit for our situation, but the rise is about 7.5 inches from the floor and then from the step up to the deck. Here I am just clearing away the stones as that area is going to be prepped. And the stairs, I'm sim they could sit alone on the ground, but I decided to um, angle in some screws and attach the stairs to that backboard. Here's a good shot. You can see how I buried that bottom 2x4 on the stair and how I'm angling in those screws into the mounting bracket. It works pretty well. It does my uh, weight and my jumpy test. You see it's still a little bit wobbly. I had some work to do there and it hadn't been buried yet. So here I'm removing what used to be our um, sort of barrier for weeds and I repositioned it and eventually we reseeded that area too. This is the 2x4 I mentioned earlier. It's just for some added stability on that part of the deck that's still existing on the railing. Um, you might not have to do this, but I wanted to make it look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Two coats of deck stain, and we were pretty much finished with this. Uh, we had this deck stain left over from years ago, and I'm surprised how well it worked, and it dries so quickly. And there's the before picture as a reminder once again. Uh, it, it worked well, but now mom has access to the entire yard. So do something nice for your family and happy outdoor home improvements. Well, that was a really fun project. I was happy to put this set of stairs in here so mom didn't have to walk all the way around the deck just to get to the spigot to water her plants. So have you done a project like this where you've cut out a big chunk or what kind of deck renovations have you done? Let us know in the comments section below. Uh, happy home improvements. Until next time, bye. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe right away and hit that notification bell so you never miss another Midwest Man Mountain video. If you like this, you'll like either of these. And thanks to my Patreons for making things possible. Until next time, bye.